Well, getting back on trail here. About to head on up the staircase. About a mile, mile and a half shy of Standing Bear Farm. So pretty much getting dropped off as close as we can to the uh, northern terminus of the Smokies. And we're hitting the trail. I guess we're gonna see how this push through Hot Springs and Irwin and further on up the trail is gonna go. Nothing quite like hopping back on trail and getting punched in the mouth with almost 3,000 feet of elevation gain in your first five miles of the day. Well, made it up to Snowbird Mountain, which is pretty much a grassy bald with an incredible view behind us. I venture to say that those are the Smokies that we just skipped over, but uh, we'll be coming back for them. Great day today. Um, made it to Groundhog Creek Shelter. Got camp set up back here. We're getting ready to wind down in just a bit. Had a few hours really to just hang and kind of take it easy. Um, tomorrow we're going to be pushing about 13 miles to the next shelter that we're wanting to stay at. Not at the shelter, but the shelter campsites. It's just a good stopping point with water. Um, and we'll be hitting Max Patch tomorrow. I can sit here and listen to the sound of woodpeckers while my while my sleep pad deflates. Just had a good breakfast, about to get camp I'm packed up right now. A couple people already on trail. I'll be meeting them out I'm on Max Patch here in just a little bit. so far. Stop and add some lunch. I'll be heading on up and over just a little bit. Alright, yeah. But <laughs> definitely better when you have the time for it. That's the, yeah. We share no, sweet Made it up to beautiful Max Patch. Where's Max Patch at? Where's that? It's here somewhere, Wilma. So Max Patch was absolutely beautiful. Had a solid bunch. So we had a great day today, 13.1 um, miles. Uh, taking it a little bit easier, we're kind of holding off to get into hot springs here on Monday to pick up a pair of shoes. So not pushing crazy mileage, thinking about 10 tomorrow. Um, and then that'll give us about three to push into hot springs on Monday um, before getting on out and then getting some more miles in between us and hot springs. But um, it's been a beautiful day. Sun is getting ready to set here in a little bit. It is sunset. It's about to be absolutely brilliant. Well, good morning, guys. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. Hit the trail just a couple of minutes ago. It's gonna be a nice, easy Sunday stroll type of day. 
and we're going to do right at about 10 miles today. That'll put us in a position to uh, roll into Hot Springs first thing Monday morning. Let Big Al grab his shoes. Might do a real quick temporary resupply at Dollar General to hold us over until we can make it to Irwin. And uh, other than that, we're going to keep on a trucking. It looks like it's going to be beautiful. Might have some rain today. I think I heard someone murmuring about a 40% chance of rain this afternoon. So we'll see if, if that comes to fruition. Other than that, I'm going to get an audio book rolling here. Get a few steps in for the day. So this is honestly a pretty, <laughs> pretty beautiful, pretty incredible section of trail. I'm not even sure what all of this greenery is and what all these little purplish white flowers are. I can probably look that up, but uh, it's just nice to roll along on. It's pretty much like a smooth dirt track. You get some patches of woods here and there, but I mean, you're just in this giant green bowl as you're hiking on through, just all around. I mean, down below, back up above. Pretty neat. beautiful sunrise this morning good night last night got in early we got to camp maybe around two so we had plenty of time to hang out and relax a little bit I'm gonna roll on into hot springs this morning hopefully i can do a quick in and out five minute resupply at the dollar general and uh back on trail to more awe-inspiring and perception altering experiences uh, on the appalachian trail well, coming on down into Hot Springs as we speak. They have some signs essentially saying that with everything that's going on, just get into town, do a quick resupply, and get on out. Which I understand 100%. I'm glad that they're at least willing to be accommodating to us as we come in just to try to get some food and get the hell out of Dodge. So, making me feel a little bit better. Pretty neat. The AT. Actually, it's just gonna run right down through town. I'm already gonna get skin cancer. Stop that. So just had a killer meatloaf sandwich from Smoky Mountain Diner. The little diner they have um, takeout orders that they're still uh, processing right now they actually have signs at the trailhead telling hikers to come on in and get something to eat so had a good sandwich there a couple people got some breakfast um, doing a little bit of stretching right now I'm based off my sit pad while a couple other people are in Dollar General I think they're gonna grab some hot dogs that we might be gonna pack out tonight um, cook some of those on a fire have our first uh, fire made hot meal if you will but we're going to be getting on out of town here in just a second. We really did plan to just go to Dollar General and get on out. But um, this diner was right next door, and they were saying, come on over. So um, got some good food. About to swing by the post office on the way out of town. And then we're going to see about, uh, I think we have a 1,000-foot climb or so coming straight out of town. So should be a good one. Well, crossing the beautiful French Broad at the moment.
So that climb up out of Hot Springs was pretty kick-ass, both in the sense that it kicked my ass and there were some pretty kick-ass views. <laughs> I did keep uh, burping up some of that meatloaf sandwich from lunch. Slightly uncomfortable, but thought fondly of my father and how he would have thoroughly savored every burp had he been in my shoes. So we decided to hike just a little ways down from the Rich Mountain Fire Tower. It was awesome to hang up there a little bit earlier today with a few of the friends taking some views and drink a cold beer and a warm beer, reminisce a little bit. Catch the sunset here in just a few. About to come on down here and grab some water, head on up for dinner, have a fire going. Bugs are a little bothersome tonight. It's warm, it probably got into the 70s today. Sweat a good bit, so got to camp and wipe down. And now I'm looking forward to uh, making sure I am good and hydrated before the night comes on. And uh, I think we might have some hot dogs too, so looking forward to that. Good morning, everybody. Beautiful morning right now. Birds are out chirp, chirp, chirping away. We do have some clouds in the sky. We're definitely gonna be getting some rain a little bit later on today and probably for the next few days, but we have been super fortunate with incredibly dry weather. Aside from just like a little pop-up shower here or there, like there's really been no rain to speak of since well, sleet last week, some rain and sleet one day last week. And then prior to that, the other rain was before we got into Hiawassee. So we've stayed pleasantly, pleasantly warm and dry. Looking forward to a good day though. I think we have a good bit of elevation gain. I think we're looking at another like 3000 feet today or something like that. So we shall see what the trail brings. One thing that I have learned and I think we all have learned as of right now, not all miles are created equal. Currently airing out my forehead. Once you guys are finished with this video, do me a favor, go outside, take a few of these. I promise you'll feel better. So it's been a good day so far. Knocked out about 11 and a half miles and took a little break. We got some food, filled up on water. Now we're doing a last little push to get us towards that next shelter. I think we're gonna end up at about 18 and a half for the day. Just wrapped up Neil deGrasse Tyson's Astrophysics for people in a hurry. Awesome audiobook. I'm sure the book itself is a good read, but I love an audiobook that's narrated by the author of the book. Pictures really just don't do it justice. <laughs> well, it's a nice rainy morning on the Appalachian Trail.
little uh, fruit roll-up on the go. Yeah! So I'll be completely honest. I love a good rainy day. <laughs> it's cleared up a little bit now, as you guys can see. I'm still wet though, my shirt is soaked. It's too warm to even wear a rain jacket, so I'm just let myself get rained on. Pants aren't super wet right now. Underwear are a little bit, shoes and socks are definitely wet. I mean, it's at this point, might as well just push as hard as you want, sweat as much as you want, huff and puff as much as you want, step where you want. <laughs> Walk straight through a creek if you want. It's kind of different. You just uh, you embrace the suck and you get after it. Another successful day on the AT. Made it to camp around four. Sun came out, rain stopped. Got a lot of our stuff drying out right now in the sun. Shoes, socks, underwear, shorts, shirt tents, all that good stuff. Fortunately, I was up early enough today to get my tent packed up in a way before the rain actually came in. Just grab some water here, about to get on back up, see if I can shovel some food in my face for the next couple hours, stretch out, roll out, and get ready to get a good night's sleep. For those of you at home, this is a big owl special. Big Good morning guys, back on trail this morning. Had a series of thunderstorms that rolled through last night. Stayed nice and dry, had to did hop out at one point, break in the rain and tighten up some of the slack in my lines of my shelter, but stayed dry. Beautiful, beautiful lightning, beautiful full moon in between the breaks and the clouds. Awesome thunder. Kind of a nice, powerful experience. It's going to be a beautiful day today, I think. Um, sunny. I guess we have a cold front coming in. It's chilly this morning. Uh, highs have been in the 70s. We're only going to get thinking to the 50s today. See out on there. Things are clearing up a little bit. The sun's been trying to peek through. Um, hope for a good day. After today, we'll have one more day, and then we'll be making our way into Irwin to zero over the weekend. Do a resupply and get back on trail. Well, coming on into Sam's Gap here. I guess we head on down and swing through under the bridge and. Then we'll see what's next from there. It's a little windy up here on this ridge. Almost lost my hat a couple times, but it is keeping me cool, which I'm grateful for. Not sure if you can see Big Bald up there, but that's where we're going to be in just a few. So we have a spring coming up here in just a few. We'll stop, fill up on water, have a little bit of lunch, and we're going to push on up. If I'm not mistaken, elevation, Big Bald is about 5,500. We're probably somewhere around 42 right now, so we're going to have a little bit of climbing on our hands.
no views. This is absolutely stunning. And it's today that I nominate myself for most wardrobe changes in a day. Started off this morning after that rain from last night, had a long sleeve shirt and a rain jacket on. By the time I got to Sam's Gap, I took that off and just threw on a wet t-shirt because I knew we were about to be climbing for a little while. Once we got just shy of Big Bald, took that t-shirt off, threw on a long sleeve and my puffy because it was cold and windy, working my way on down took the puffy off, then it was too warm for the long sleeve, and now I'm back in the short sleeve, so beautiful weather on the AT. It's a little bit of a cold morning. We got down to 27 last night, and I don't know if you guys could hear or see, but it's a little windy. Grab my food bag here. I'm first one up, everyone's, we agreed we were gonna sleep in this morning. We made it about 15.8 yesterday to right around the Spivey Gap. So I'm probably about to head on back to my tent, curl back up in my bag. I said plenty warm last night. My feathered friend's 20 degree bag is keeping me incredibly toasty. Um, I've been sleeping with nothing on for the last few nights and I've still been sweating. So, and I've been actually using it like a quilt, just completely draped over the top of me, feet in down there in the foot box. Uh, it's a warm freaking bag. I'm very, very, very happy with my feathered friend's bag. It's probably one piece of gear that has uh, overperformed. <laughs> Just climbed up out of Spivey Gap. Took my puffy off on the way and still have my hat and my my gloves on me. We're gonna be descending about, about 2,000 feet over the next 10 miles or so. So it's on the backside of this ridge. I might be getting a little bit more cold wind. I might have to throw my puffy on. Gloves might be going back on. But just like yesterday and all the layer changes, just uh, kind of part of being out here. You can experience all the seasons in a day. So just stopped and had some lunch. Had an awesome tuna and cheddar cheese wrap. Also had some Sour Patch Kids. Some beef jerky. There was something else I ate. I can't remember. <clears throat> Man, I, there is something so, I don't even know the word for it. Something so pure about eating on trail. The things that you're eating when you're on trail, you're literally fueling your body. Yeah, that's what you're doing. The food that you're eating, it's fuel, and you feel it being used as fuel. Your body actually takes it in and fucking uses it. Thought for the day. I can for sure feel those Sour Patch Kids that are fueling this climb. Well, on our way down into Irwin right now. Uh -oh, you guys can see the little town down there. I was gonna stay on trail tonight and go on into town first thing in the morning. Big Al and I were talking about it. I think we're actually gonna run on into town tonight. 
probably go for an extra night in town. We've been on trail for eight days right now, so we're all right with hopping off trail, getting cleaned up a little bit. I think it's gonna be another cold night tonight. It'd be nice to just kind of chill and have a little uh, taste of civilization. That would be Irwin, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think I'm just gonna keep getting some spectacular views on my way down here in Irwin. So, Irwin's been good to us. Got on in, we're at a Super 8 right now. Um, resupplied at the little food city, at the local grocery store that's walking distance just underneath the highway there. So we walked on over and got our resupply. Um, I'm putting everything together. We're gonna to be pushing for a uh, about a five day push from here to get to Hampton. And then, other than that, we're still planning on being here tomorrow. So we did grab some food for tomorrow too. I guess I'm gonna get some of the stuff bagged up. We might see about getting some pizza delivered. And what else am I doing tonight? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna have a couple beers. I'll take it easy. Breakfast, mid morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, dinner, miscellaneous. Breakfast to champions, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Town days are for super glue and shoes. So it's been a good zero. Had a good breakfast, plenty of good food. Um, we picked up some lunch for today from the food city yesterday. So um, everything's been good. Been lounging around. This has been home for the day. Just chilling. Um, edited some videos, catching up with some family and friends. Gonna be hitting the trail tomorrow, probably midday, 11, 12, something like that. We'll sleep in, take our time getting on trail, and um, then we'll see what the upcoming week has in store. <laughs>